Hey Earth Signs, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for the next 20, or I'm sorry, the next 72 hour uh, reading for your element. If you are a sun sign that is an earth sign, this is your reading. It is a general reading, those so who just take what resonates and chunk out the rest. Um, integrity has a lot to do with the way energy flows for you and I. So always keep that in mind. Uh, I could be talking to you or the cross watcher. However, this is for Earth sign, Sun signs. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo for the next 72 hours. Let's go ahead and get into it here. We thank you, Sweet Divine, for clear to find messages for Sun signs in the Earth element. Uh, what do they need to know? What do they need to understand? What do they need to bypass? I bind and block on negative forces that would try to hinder any truth to come to the surface for their highest good. We ask for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, the highest wisdom to come right down here in these tangible uh, realm for us, for us to understand a thing. Help me to please interpret these cards as they come forth for the earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, we thank you, sweet divine, for clear messages. What is the message for the earth for the next 72 hours? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. We've got the Page of Swords, so somebody could be just spying you out, thinking you're cute, thinking you're hot, wanting to send you a text message. Maybe they're stalking you, positive or negative. Uh, somebody could just be real gossipy, rumory about things uh, around you. And, uh, or they could just be secret servicing you. Somebody could be humbling themselves as well for some of you. Um, somebody is just trying to make a real logical decision. Maybe you're dealing with little children. You could be studying brand new things. So I'm talking to many different people. So whatever scenario you find yourself in, we do have the Page of Swords coming out. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or the law, the truth, finding out something and it be brand new to you. Or it's something that you've known for a while and you like I said just humbling the self getting some kind of a breakthrough here in the next uh, seven two hours we also have the moon so if something is secretive or something like that or something within families the moon rules over the house of cancer the fourth house uh, it can also be uh, connected to all three of the uh, water elements so cancer Scorpio and Pisces this is about using your intuition need to pay attention to your dreams in the next 72 hours. You're either continuing doing something or this is something you need to look forward to or change or, 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 or bypass in the next 72 hours. So always keep that in mind with these 72 hour readings. This is cycles of things. Uh, this represents mother issues, children issues, family issues on every level, your gut instincts, uh, uh, silent things, maybe coming to the light, you know, maybe deceptive things, unseen things. Um, Things that have been illusional and mysterious here. Some of you just need to really tap into your intuition. Uh, this so, this page is also looking as if he's looking towards the past, about past cycles of things. Maybe you're going to learn some things about your children. We've got a, a wolf here that represents using your instinct, but it's also howling at the moon. Um... The moon pulls on the emotions, so just really pay attention to your emotions. You could be, you know, dealing with some real emotional things right now. Yeah, something uh, could be ending in the next 72 hours, or you've just come through something, and you're going to be healing from this kind of energy. A lot of swords come up here. Now, there's 11, 11 swords. There's the 10 and the 1, even though this is a page. Uh, the page is holding up the one sword. 11 is uh, Aquarian energy of knowing something, right? Somebody could be, you know, starting a revolution or something like that or had or something like that. Uh, the 10 will break down to that one like I said, getting clarity within something that's been happening, cycles of things, family things going on here, new ideas, like I said, uh, somebody coming to a place. This also could be good conception as well. I know it's not the ace, but it is the ace. And uh, this also motherhood. Uh, somebody could be finding out that they're pregnant within the next 72 hours, or you just did. Um, I'm also hearing somebody's feeling guilty about something, but something's ended here. Something's known. Something's coming out. Somebody has had a gut 
uh, intuitive uh, feeling about something as well. Could be a work situation uh, going on. Uh, maybe this is just learning information about what you want to do. Um, where work is concerned, this is about mastery and apprenticeship and development and uh, and like I said, the page represents starting fresh, starting new, somebody starting a brand new study of some kind for some of you in the next 72 hours going on here. Uh, this is uh, perfectionism. This is an eight represents personal power, needing to have strength, uh, maybe with co-workers, maybe within your body, something like that. But something's also ended here. Uh, some of you either are dealing with backstabbing issues uh, of any kind. Um, either you're doing it, somebody's doing it to you, what, whatever's going on. Because this is very, very gossipy energy as well. Right, maybe it's just a family situation, but somebody wanted to put in some kind of work um, in some type of situation after uh, learning some kind of new information that's coming. All right, so these are the four. So I'm doing these readings this uh, next 72 hours differently. I'm just taking about four cards here and uh, I'm just kind of giving you an overview on energy that could be around you or what you've already been dealing with, what you need to either bypass, like I said, get grounded. Um, it could be dealing with um, things that are coming to the surface, right? And uh, that's hard energy. But that's the end of a cycle. Ten represents the end of a cycle here. And the moon is about cycles. Something could have ended at the last uh, full moon and you started over and you're continuing on. It was really painful. Now you're putting the work in or somebody's wanting to come towards you uh, and speak to you about some things in the past and end a situation here and put in some work, whatever that is for you. We've got 18 even just here in these two cards and the moon itself is 18. Wow, and so that'd make two nines, which make an 18. Anyway, you need to just keep your intuitive side awakened and truth uh, pointed upwards. Somebody's going to get some clarity, uh, some of you, about some deceptive things that have happened. Some of you are going to get an apology, and some of you are going to, you know, really going to have to put some work in on a situation here or continue working in it. Um, children's situations parental situations, emotional situations, mental situations, co-worker situations, health situations, that's all here. Sexual issues going on here as well as what I heard the Spirit said. Somebody really trying to get grounded in some things within the mind, within the body, within the emotions. Guys, that's what I have for you for the next 72 hours. Good luck to you. Keep your keep your wits about you. Oops. Um, keep your wits about you. Pay attention to your emotions. Keep them balanced. Um, keep your ears open for positivity. If you hear any gossip and stuff like that, cut that stuff out. We don't need that kind of stuff, right? And if somebody comes to you in confidence, keep it in confidence. You weigh the emotions on what you need to do and put the work in, gain some personal power, get over this mind stuff that could be coming to you. Or this is just a warning so that you can keep your intuition intact so you can bypass some deceptive things that could be around you. All right, guys, till the next time. Shalom.